Welcome back to Shuffle Bloody Shuffle, where we unearth metal's bangers and clangers through the decades, one subgenre at a time. Joining me as ever, Mike, the Brighton bad man, Aga, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, what did you say? Shuffle Bloody Shuffle? It came out a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton bad man. The Brighton bad man. Yeah, that's, that really is not true and it never has been or <laughs> you don't any Brighton, other location you? I've lived in. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Although John's very, de- you're very determined to lift the iron curtain on everything to do with me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna release a little bit of information. Yeah, can, yeah, don't, don't. Otherwise, uh, don't. Otherwise, I'll start making up, I'll start making up rumors about you. So, oh. Presenting them as fact. <laughs> how are you? How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm not bad. I am actually driving back. I didn't want to tell you this. I saw, uh, I saw, uh, I saw a fight in the street. A road okay. rage incident. Okay. I'm quite pumped up. Oh, nice. Was it violent? <laughs> I only saw I saw the briefest second of it. So, like, I drove. Put there's a bit that you you um, there's like you know when you when you sort of cross across a road to go to go in go into another road, and you get those like middle middle lane sections where people kind of pull in before yeah, they turn yeah, yeah. they turn off. It yeah. was there, and I was going to turn off down it, and I saw one of the cars. A car was there with its door open. Um. And I thought, oh, I won't bother. They've probably broken down. And then, so as, as and as I was going past, I saw a guy get out the car. And then I realised there's another guy already out. And uh, I looked in my me- rear view mirror as I was driving past. I just saw one of them, just like rugby tackle the other one straight to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, man. Was, I had to get back for this. I want. I, I would have turned around and gone and had another look. I really oh, wanted to. Um, I was like, oh, do I? Do I? I needed to get back for this, but. Um, I did, but I did want to sort of swing back around and sort of try and pull up somewhere and see like a sort of, sort of watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, sorry. Well, sorry that this ruined that. But uh, no, you know, uh... this, this is marginally better than watching that. <laughs> it's marginally. It marginally better than watching two middle-aged, overweight men having a fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, mind, mind you, this could turn into that, right? Me and you could somehow go at it when we talk about these albums. Very um... true. About that middle age, I will tell you what, we're. we're Slightly lower. Slightly lower, yeah. Slightly lower. Not far. Um, Naughty's Death Metal Week. Yeah, man. Exciting? Yeah, it is exciting. It is exciting. I mean, I've, I've got... I've, I mean, I've got not much experience in, like, historic death metal. Like, I've only really gotten into death metal properly in the last few years. Yeah. And d- when I did, I kind of I kind of just went a lot for like the newer bands that are coming out. Um, yeah. And I've, I've sort of jumped back a bit, especially with the real classic 90s stuff. Um, but the kind of the 2000s, and st- I, I, no, I haven't bothered at all with it, really. Okay. So the bands we got given, um, Opeth and uh, Nile, um, had you sort of experienced either of these bands prior? No, neither. Neither? No. 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 I'd sent you the album by opeth blackwater park that we're doing many times did uh, you many times we like, please listen to this it's really good but i don't think you ever did well no i definitely never did because this is the first time i heard it, it was, it was <laughs> brilliant 100 percent never heard it so yeah the two albums so, that, Black... so, so you sent me you've sent me that album before i've sent you blackwater park before yeah 100 percent. okay okay that's fine um, so I want, I've, I've got i've got i've got i've got a bone to pick for you later on Okay, we actually used to listen to it in the van when we were on tour. Oh, so I have heard it. You must have heard it in parts, yeah. Really? Remember how much attention you were down. paying? Yeah, yeah I, I, well, I can't have been paying any attention to it because I thought I think I'd never it was heard it most, before. Yeah, I think it was mostly quite late at night when we were driving. It was like me and Gareth at front and you and Rich sort of like passed out in the back. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but... um yeah, so the two up, yeah, Blackwater Park uh, by Opeth, uh, 2001, that came out in. And we got Nile, uh, Annihilation of the Wicked, which came out in 2008. Five, I want to say. Five, five 2005. Five. Yeah, 2005, yeah. sorry. Um, okay, well, should we just start with Opeth? Should we jump on in? Yes, let's go straight into Opeth, a band that uh, I honestly, well, it turns out I probably have heard, maybe piped into yeah. my dreams. Uh, <laughs> yeah i've never i've never actually listened to intently uh or not, not knowingly not knowingly this is yeah. their fifth studio album um if you fifth. can believe that 
fifth yeah which is quite something although they sort of this was their sort of big big one right um i guess i want to i'm intrigued to know what you think about this because I think on paper it's it's a hard sell to you because you don't really like more progressive death metal, do you? I think you prefer either the old school straight up death metal or not. Yeah, right? no, you're right. You're right. It's it's um, and it's probably a reason why I I ignored it when you've sent it to me because I thought this isn't probably going to be for me overly. Um, but it, it yeah it was it, I it's one of these albums that I. I liked it and I had a good time with it. I didn't love it. Like I did, I didn't like it. I, it's, I could hear it was, I could hear it's an amazing album, but, and I enjoyed it, but I don't know how much I'll go back to it, but I can, I, I can hear it's importance. You know, I can hear why people are quite fanatical about it. Is that right? Are people fanatical about this album. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's looked at as probably the best progressive death metal album of all time. Okay. Um, well, okay. I'm interested to know then like what you didn't like about it. I, what didn't I like about it? There was nothing I didn't like about it. Um, I just, it didn't blow me away. Um, there wasn't, there, there wasn't enough there that I enjoyed that I would go back to, but okay. I thought it was a very good album. Do you okay. know what I mean? It's quite a, um, it's one of those albums that if you're going to listen to it in full, you've got to uh, dedicate a bit of time to it. It's over an hour, isn't it? It's quite a long album. Yeah. I think it's like one, is it one hour, seven minutes or something? Something like that. But you you got, you got to put some time into it. And a lot of the songs are very long pieces, aren't they as well? It's, they're not particularly yeah. short songs or, um there's a few sort of double digit ones on there as well uh i was what i was surprised at i mean i i i mean obviously it turns out i probably have heard a bit of opeth before but i didn't think i had mm-hmm. um is i'm i was surprised at how melodic they are i have never heard I, it's probably the most melodic death metal i've ever heard and i know they do a lot of straight up melodic parts with either like you know kind of clean guitars acoustic guitars and singing but even the heavier parts there's still a lot of melody going on in those those bits, isn't there? The, the yeah. guitar playing in particular. Yeah, they they have a really good understanding of melody and when I think when to use it. Like they are, they have a kind of soft approach to death metal, which is arguably more the progressive side of it. Um, that really, they're not scared to go soft, but and and make it sound quite um i don't know man i i guess the only word i can say to describe it is quite like it's it's quite beautiful sounding in a way like they're mm-hmm. they're yeah i mean just like the way that they kind of have have his vocals going with the kind of like acoustic guitar underneath and the guitar playing as well is exceptional um yeah. and then they sort of have these like ebo higher higher note like sustained going on underneath it it's really like complex layering of of melody that you don't find in death metal really um and i think that's probably what separates them initially but it's like when you really dive into this record like full disclaimer i've listened to this album probably a hundred plus times like it's one of my all-time favorite records um but when you dive into it a lot more the heaviness comes from not just like the fact it's like oh low vocals and like low riffs and stuff it's like the heavy the heaviness for me comes from like the complexity of the complexity of their riffs and like the transitions between the pieces rather than yeah rather than just kind of like oh he's low end screaming okay I don't know what to say yeah. for that. <laughs> that was really, very, very well said, John. I've, I've, got nothing, I've got nothing to add. Should we score it? Like, should, we score it? should we move on? I, I mean, for me, man, like, for me, this is like the perfect progressive death metal album. Like, it, I don't think it can be topped going forward. Even by them? Even by, what, like, even, what was their... Even by them. Even by really? them. So, like, 
stuff they released after it was good, like really good. Um, but I just feel as a whole, as a package as a whole, like this album for me is top to bottom is, is yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And like uh, Opeth actually went a lot more, um, especially like recently, like they completely ditched the screaming and like the low vocal um, and went, they went pretty much full prog metal rather than death metal um and and like there's some really good stuff in there but i just don't think they'll ever be able to go back to this that doesn't surprise me like i i really liked this about it as well and i like how much they lean into the prog side of it it it's more it's more of a prog metal album than a death metal album isn't it yeah i'd i'd say so i'd say so and i liked that the prog it's got that kind of feel of like the older stuff, like the sort of 60s and 70s stuff. There's quite King Crimson-esque areas, bits that sound a bit like old Pink Floyd. Um, yeah. And then I really liked a lot of that. I thought it was really good. There was odd bits with the vo- vocals um, when he was singing over maybe more distorted parts where I didn't get on with it quite as well. It maybe felt, felt a little bit cheesy. Um, and that song Bleak, there was a, there was, there was quite a, um, there's like a sung part over over as kind of like a more distorted bit and and it was kind of nice in places but there was the odd melody or thing they do with the harmony that gave it maybe a slightly cheesier feel I, I i actually preferred his sung vocals when it was over like when it was quite stripped back over just sort of like a single guitar or yeah. or whatever i sort of preferred it over that i was going to ask you like what cuz uh, track 3 i think harvest that's yeah. um a kind of softer a song overall for them um i put down that you'd probably hate this one but listening to what you're saying now it maybe i think that you preferred opeth when they were more that than necessarily yeah i did like i, I did like that one and and, and I, I i kind of put that's when i first listened to this album that was it was that song that i realized oh they they really will they are they're really leaning into the, the prog side of this and they're like kind of harkening back to the kind of early days of it with with that as well and i i i i really admired them for for, for leaning into that on, on a metal album yeah yeah did you did you have any did you like pick out anything exceptional over this at all or not it was just sort of like all okay no no there was there was some there was some good songs on here there were yeah, the, the album top to bottom was was really good and i but i could hear it's amazing and i can hear why other people like yourself hold it in the regard you do because i can hear that in it and i wonder if i spent more time with it i'd appreciate it more i feel like it is one of those albums that you can't listen to just a couple of times no. and probably get the appreciation for it that it that it actually needs um so i imagine you know, this being an album. I mean, how long ago did you hear this? In your, you've said you heard this over a hundred times. You must have known this album quite a long time, right? I, so I was introduced to this record. It must have been around 2005. Um, and I was obsessed with the opening track on it, The Leper Infinity. And I didn't really enjoy the softer, more progressive moments. But I loved, like, for me, that song was, like, unbelievable. I learned, like, yeah. the main majority of it on guitar, like, the riffs. Yeah um i was like obsessed with it it was only until maybe a few years later when i started to get into the kind of more progressive side of of like music um that i actually went back to it and kind of did it all and appreciated it all in full and then i'd say in the last like 10 yeah maybe the last 10 15 years it's it's been in like constant constant rotation really where do you rank this in your like favorite albums of all time top hmm metal albums top top five probably top five wow yeah maybe even maybe even top three depending on the day like i can i can listen to this top to bottom and not get bored not want to turn it off not like it's not even it gets better almost every listen for me which is quite something yeah man i smell a five smell a five coming from you (laughs) i mean i i no spoilers. No spoilers. Right, no spoilers. Yeah. All right, right. But so songs I really liked of this. Uh, probably my favourite was uh, the funeral portrait. Um, yeah, yeah. 
I love the um I loved how the opening riff was like it sounded like Rush. Like yeah. it was like that proper like Rush style riff. I really like that. Um I enjoyed as well the the Drapery Falls. I thought that was a really Drapery good song. Falls. Yeah, really cool. Um, Sorry, just going back to the funeral portrait, uh talking about that kind of the guitar work on that. There's around like the two minute mark, uh, there's a riff that goes on, and one of the other guitars underneath sort of is like palm mute in um just like a single note but he's opening up his palm mute to go alongside like the main riff that's happening and it and it gives like a a third dimension to the riff it like expands it it's it's quite it's one well, of those it, things it does, he, like, does he highlight the accents of the other riff is it that, in that kind it, of way, it, yeah? it, it kind of accents the um it's not necessarily accents accenting the the notes but it's more accent a, accenting the feel of it and it is okay. quite like a it's quite like a clever like production point um it, but like this that album is littered with stuff like that it sounds it sounds like it's very there's a lot of things going on a lot of subtle things going on yeah uh, there's a lot of yeah. thoughts being put into it and the production itself amazing as well everything sounds yeah. great the drums sound amazing like it's it feels very wide like i feel like when i listen to it i, I feel like i can really hear the width in mm -hmm. the recording that like the guitars feel very spaced nicely spaced it, it yeah it, it, it feels huge but it's i feel like the guitar the guitar tone on it's it, it's it's got more of um it's more kind of crunchier than sort of scooped isn't it it's not yeah it's not got that kind of like buzz or death metal sound has it no it's a lot more... and there's a lot of clarity in there so you can kind of hear everything going on it works to have that sort of sound on this album yeah absolutely. and also especially if you're going between a lot of clean sections like you know and you're jumping jumping back it sounds a bit weird when bands do that they go really clean and then when they go they go back to heavy it's all really scooped and yeah it, the transition sounds weird whereas on this because it's more of a crunchier tone it it it, it feels right with with going to the to the, the the clean sections yeah absolutely yeah there's no there's no transition in terms of like heavy to quiet or quiet to heavy that that feels like oh they've just kind of stamped on a distortion pedal and they've just, yeah exactly like, um it, it's really it's really well done sonically it's it's very rich um but yeah man like like you said it's production wise it's very wide and and clear but it's it, it has to be i think for something like this where are they from john are they they scandinavian yeah swedish i think swedish yeah they're still going also. yeah 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 still going so wait they because they, they um so this was their fifth album did their debut was their debut 95 or something like that it was mid 90s um i can tell you their debut would have been ninety five. yeah yeah oh orchids yeah 95. so, so they, did, I, they did a lot between then and this yes, there, there's nearly an lot. album a year yeah I think the one the one before still life is also incredible um but i feel like blackwater park just took what still life did and just made it a okay. hell of a lot better um, and this was the yeah. album that really introduced them right this was the album where their their level of popularity really rose is that correct i believe i believe so i think still life did do a lot for them but i think this took them catapulted them okay i think yeah yeah um any standout songs Oh, you've done. Oh, wait, no, okay. I'll... You said you were going yeah, to talk yeah, about your stand. That's good. Go on. You, you tell me yours. It sounds. I mean, I, I only didn't ask because it sounds like you. I don't know if you have any. It sounds like you. You. It, Every, everything. Yeah. I mean, I think the Leper Infinity is probably like my favorite song on it. But um, I think um, Blackwater Park is incredible. The Ender. Yeah, I thought that was great as well, man. Really cool. Like they they deal with groove in such a cool way. Like it their riffs were groovy but not in like a pantera kind of way it had a bit no, more nothing like, like that was it no it wasn't like it wasn't like oh we're just going to throw something kind of like southern to you but it like it was the drumming that sort of carried it um and and also like the the bass playing in that song is really clever because he was sort of playing along with the root notes of the main groovy riff but he was 
pausing the bass with every with every um kick drum kick to give that kind of like you know that kind pulsing of, type yeah that pulsing like groove yeah yeah it's it it really clever um i just think musically they're beyond accomplished like i think everything is so exceptional in terms of like transitions riff writing like some of the riffs on this are incredible um especially in i want to say bleak there's like a huge riff it starts off with that intro it's acoustic and it's quite discordant and then it all kicks in to this like really cool riff um but no i think overall leper infinity is probably my standout song probably a standout yeah i want to hear your score i think i know it, I, I mean it's it's a perfect five if i could give it more five. than five if i give it more than five i would like it, you get, yeah you score I, it a six out yeah, six out of five. I think the moment you said like Opeth, okay, Blackwater Park, I was like, it's a five. It's a five. No, it's a five. There's no, yeah. What's, well, what, I'm what not, are you saying on this? Uh, you might be, you might be a bit disappointed with mine, but I was going to go with a four point two. Um, I'm not disappointed. I somewhat expected it. I think this is an album that, like, you could listen to once and be like, yeah, it's really good. Or you could listen to a hundred times and be like, it's incredible. Do you know what I mean? That's what I feel. I feel like this is an album that you, I don't think you can appreciate it for what it is in a few listens. I feel like yeah. this is an album you've got to listen to. You've got to, it's, you've got to listen to it and it's got, to, it's got to bring you in to make you want to get obsessed with it. Yep. Agreed. And, and really spend time with it. That's, that's what I think. And I haven't had that time with it. And also, I haven't quite had that feeling for it to make me want to do that. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, that's understandable knowing your tastes and preferences. So I wasn't kind of shocked by that. I was expecting anything within the four. I'd have been a bit annoyed if you went three. If I went lower, 3.9? Yeah, yeah. the 3.9 would have actually, I might have just ended the call. <laughs> Are you fucking joking? <laughs> <laughs> you can't rock more than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, they, John's first five of the two thousands. Is that my first very five? Close to Linkin Park. Is, uh, what did I give? I keep saying this. Four point nine. Was it a four point nine? Four point nine. You gave it the John Zorn. I think I corrected myself. No, you didn't. You didn't. No? You I'll go back and listen. I wanted you to give. I wanted you to give it a five. Hey, mate. On another day, maybe I would have. Yeah. Maybe scratch, I would have. The, uh, scratch, scratch the itch. Actually, cure, cure for the, the itch. itch cure for the cure itch. For the itch. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> I love how every episode we're going to somehow go back. You bring to it up, yeah, yeah. Get it. I'll get it slightly wrong. I actually tried to get it right that time as well. And, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, still got it wrong. Um, All right, should we move on from OPEF? Yes. And can I? Right, I've got to say something to you about this. So this is Nile, Annihilation of the Wicked, yep. came out in two thousand and five. John, you know this album? I know this album. Right. Okay. This is my issue. Why have you never recommended me this? I thought it would be too technical for you. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough, actually. That's fair enough. I, I um, thought you like your death metal maybe a little bit more. I don't, Caveman's a little bit, a bit street, like a bit too far, but a bit that kind of like. No, I do. I do prefer it that way. Yeah. 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 But um, I absolutely love this though. Fucking hell. Really? Okay. Jesus, I, that, man. Like, that makes me happy. It, it's, um, it's incredible. It's so okay, good. It, it's yeah. so heavy. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. Were you, ex it's ridiculous. Were you expecting it to be that heavy? Uh I don't know what I was expecting, really. Um I've never listened to them before. I kind of feel like I'm at a I'm now finally at a point in my life where I'm I'm ready to listen to an Egyptian themed death metal <laughs> band. So I've never been ready up until now. Until now, but but the course of these uh this this podcast has maybe led journey you to I'm that on. point. Yeah, yeah. And and what uh, a journey. I'm, I'm now I'm now ready for it. I I think I thought that they, I thought they were going to be a death metal band, and but I thought the Egyptian themes to it were going to be maybe a bit tackily done. Like no, they're all in with it. Like, no, I know, in. but I I thought that the influence you would hear would be like some sort of like death metal and then some sort of like kind of crappy <laughs> interpretation of like Snake yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, <laughs> egyptian music and stuff like i thought it was going to be some sort of you know include like trying to sort of cheaply add that in to sort of 
give 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 it that's what i thought it was going to be right um, whereas it's actually the 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 way they incorporate those sort of sounds into music is very well done and very uh, quite quite subtle in a sense it's sort of ingrained but it's not you know making itself so obvious that it, you, you think oh, oh yeah an egyptian thing band like, yeah it's, yeah, it's one of those things that over the over the album, it, it, you get the sense of it being about what it's about, but it's not it's not smashing you over the head with it. No, and it's ancient Egypt, isn't it? It's not modern modern day. They're, they're not talking about modern day <laughs> modern day. Yeah, Egypt. They, they're not writing about Mo Salah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, t- tips on how not to get ripped off in the marketplace. And, um... <laughs> yeah. Restaurant, restaurant recommendations. <laughs> yeah, KFC opposite the py- the pyramids. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I thought this was, I thought this was unreal. It was, it's so brutal. It's so full on, and yeah, it is really technical. And you're you're right. Like I, I'm not a big fan of music like this that goes so overly technical that you, you kind of lose good riffs and things like that because it, it it kind of you know moves through things so fast but i feel like nile are just on the right side of it where they yeah. do where they will linger on riffs for a little bit longer um and just how technical it is and, and the way they pull it off is so impressive yeah that i can't help but enjoy it um i thought i thought it was i thought it was amazing it's blisteringly fast isn't it as well it's ludicrous. It's the, fucking ludicrous. The drummer is insane. Like insane. Yeah, this was his debut, right? This was his first I, album with the band. I, yeah, I believe so. What's his name? Is it, he's Greek, isn't he? I think the dude. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I've seen. I like. I've seen videos of him play like in isolation, like warm ups and stuff, and it's just like, how? How is he going that fast? Some of the pedal work in it was yeah. absolutely amazing. It was really it was really incredible um it's so fast like and even when they do yeah. their slow moments like even when even when it's slow for nile the, even just the double kick is just going and it's just like even the slow yeah. moments feel fast which is that, cool in a that, way there's a bit like that is it on annihilation of the wicked where they towards the end where they go slow but then he does like a, he'll do like a double kick over it um mm. and it, it just sounds it's so it, it, I can't think of anything I would say than it's just sheer brutality the way it sounds. Yeah. Um that I song that I, song is just to touch on that song, I think that's maybe my standout one Yeah, of, it's one of mine. The um that kind of like sp- almost spacey riff at the start. Yeah. Before before it all comes in doing that like triplet chug. Um yeah. oh, it's just so so good. Well, what, there's a few things about this album that I really, really liked um, guitar-wise. The there was a lot of harmonies going throughout, and they were interesting. Yeah. They they were they were doing different sorts of harmonies. I, I found most of the riffs were har- harmonized to a point, but um, uh, yeah, possibly I wasn't really paying attention to that. But but they yeah. um, there was a, there was a lot of them in there, and th- they 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 were just interesting, and you could, yeah. they 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 weren't they weren't doing the same one each time they were they were mixing things up and it, that was sort of kind of changing the feel of the songs um and one thing that i found really interesting was the guitar solos in there were largely or quite a few of them anyway were um they were quite like i don't want to say simple because they weren't but they were they were just like a lot of like long sustained notes and like um kind of bends and things like that they they, they weren't doing that i don't know man chaotic I think that's an interesting take because I thought the other way. I thought all the guitar work, all the solo work, sorry, was like insanely technical, but they'd find a way to like link it in with the, the solo would link in with the riff. It wouldn't be like, here's a strong out riff with a cool solo over the top. It was like, here's the solo. Then when this, there's a kind of like fast lick in the riff, he'll do the same in the solo. But oh, like I see. Yeah, incorporated up. it in. Incorporated but there was, it in. There was, a cu- there was a couple of songs, though, where the guitar solo was like, uh, like um, it was, it'd be like a sustained note, like for a while. And yeah, more like, they, mood, more, it's more mood, isn't it? Like, 
yeah, more mood building, but, they'd, right? but they'd be doing that over like you know quite chaotic parts as well. And I just thought it was re- it was an interesting way to go, and yeah. it gave the song quite a bit of space and a bit of a different feel. Um, and I thought it was I, I was really uh, impressed. I thought it was re- really cool. Man, what did you have standout songs? Yeah, I tell you what, the song, the the first song that I heard of it that really made me go, Jesus Christ, was um, can I, can I user, guess? User, yeah, user, user Matt, Matt, right. right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. song is incredible, man. Mate, Fucking hell. It's unbelievable. The opening yeah. riff is so good. Yeah. Well, you've so, got that kind of that that's one of the ones where you've got that you've got that kind of um the intro the parts Egypt, like um the Egyptian yeah, the, intro. Yeah, the Egyptian intro. Yeah, the yeah, so it's got the, <laughs> yeah, that sort of vibe at the beginning then it goes in. Um yeah. and it's sort it's quite chaotic as it comes in and then it slows down quite quickly into that riff. Yeah. And when I first said there, I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? This is amazing. Like, this is. There's a lot of those, of... Um, there's a lot of those moments throughout where you're like, oh, fuck, as if they've just kind of done that. Yeah. 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 I think that definitely in User Mark Ray and uh, Lash to the Slave Stick as well. Um, there's moments. Yeah, that's a great that. song too. Yeah. That um, Annihilation of the Wicked as well. Is that, that, those are my two favorite. Yeah, that same same with me. It was a uh, user Mark Ray, Lash to the Slave Stick, and uh, Annihilation of the Wicked. Although the more I listen to this, because like I've listened to this album a lot, I got put onto this by Orgo like maybe six or seven years, like five or six years ago. Okay. Um, and um, it's 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 in my like death metal rotation. Rotation, I listen to it quite a lot. Um, but there was one song that I kind of used to like, not look not look over but it just didn't really stand out to me um but what one was it tell me it's track six you can read it out trying to find it on on my notes what one was track six oh chapter of the uh obeisance before giving breath to the inert one in the presence of the crescent shaped horns that's the one. Is that is that the one? I thought, what, mate? What, no, what I was thinking, you know, <laughs> what I was thinking, you know, you know when you see you see like when like death metal bands play live and they they often introduce songs sort of like they go this next one's called yeah, yeah the and they do the title also. yeah and I was just thinking, will they do, <laughs> yeah. will they do that one and they're just like he's like give me a minute like that, and <laughs> <laughs> blew it blew in the face just trying to get yeah, it he gets, gets to the end he's like right, guys can we have a break before we start so i'm gonna blow my voice out doing the title <laughs> it's such a long title it's it's interesting because like you can hear like bands like blood incantation especially i think they've taken so much from nile like um i mean in hidden histories you had a lot of egyptian themed throughout that that album and you just think it's kind of what Nile were doing but like back in 2005 at least um well they, really, they, they really... started in the late 90s didn't they as well Nile? so they've been doing yeah. it for a long time i forgot they were a relapse band as well um yeah yeah which is uh which is which is cool their I first album's that. really fucking good as well like it's you should check out more Nile for sure yeah, when I was looking at this, I saw the artwork for the first albums. I remember that. I remember seeing that album like yeah. around a lot. I I downloaded that on on uh, LimeWire when I was back in the uh, back in the days of back in the day back in the days of not not really knowing what you were getting. I think it was that and Morbid yeah. Angel. Um, I, I just it didn't it didn't really click with me back then. But man, what no, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have clicked with me back then as well. This has been the whole getting into death metal and stuff's been a real later in life thing for me yeah it feels, like a, it feels like a thing that it feels, it feels like a thing like i don't know it feels like quite a, a logical step when you get a bit older and you you're kind of want something new to go heavy, to get into death metal. That you have yeah you have a, you haven't done yet i guess it depends on your journey like you said but like i think you were a lot more in the kind of hardcore post hardcore scene rather than the metal death metal scene right yeah absolutely 100 percent. yeah i wonder if it goes the other way for people that are into death metal no because i feel like hardcore feels like a bit of a young person's a younger game thing. yeah it's quite whereas it? like whereas death metal feels like i don't know i feel like it's kind of it's ageless almost fine. isn't it uh, yeah. it's ageless almost i think so and well especially because a lot of those bands from the 90s are still kind of going and they all kind of they all still yeah. sort of look the same. <laughs> yeah, well, just like... a bit 
just a bit fatter and balder. You know, yeah. what's what's really good about Nile is like um, awesome. I really got into one of their last records as well. Um, it came out maybe three or four years ago, but like it's still insanely good. They haven't like they haven't got shitter as time's gone on. They're still producing like amazing technical Egyptian themed death metal without it sounding <laughs> yeah. like without it sounding like uh oh this just sounds like the album before do you know what i mean it's quite i know niche... what you mean oh so that's it so it isn't it isn't a case of them just rehashing the same stuff and you, you're like no, oh they... you know it's good but it's the same no it's different no they're still they're coming out with like a newish kind of sound not new sound but like new ideas it's it's really cool yeah. i think they're so well accomplished music like musically um what's his name carl sanders the guitarist i think like i oh, see he's... He's, he's the guitarist singer is he right I believe so, and I think he's the he one. Do that, is that like, man. I know because those riffs are insane, insane. How um, have you seen them live? I haven't. No, they're they're a band no. I'd love to see live. Um, do they tour? Do they tour much? Yeah, they played not too long ago. I think. Um, I think there was it. Hmm, Boston Music Rooms, or maybe like a, that venue near there in London. Um, well, I was going to yeah. say, what size, what size venues do they play? Like, like they're like not massive, not massive, no. big enough to be respected, but not not massive. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. So back back to that, Carl Sanders. I think he is the guy that is like obsessed with Egypt. I think he did like degrees in it or something like that. Really? Like, yeah, I think he's got like a again real... ancient Egypt. John, we're talking about. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, ancient yeah. Egypt. Yeah, must, it doesn't just must, work for the tourism board. Must, <laughs> yeah, must throw that in there. But yeah, man, I, I'm surprised that you are so into it, considering it is very technical. The only thing, and this is just personal preference, I felt like the I would have preferred it if the production was maybe a little bit rawer. And I get why it's not, because of what they're doing. Um, mm -hmm. But just for personal preference, maybe that i would have preferred it a little bit like the guitars are really scooped but it works because it sounds so heavy but yeah you know. i quite enjoy I, I quite enjoyed the production on this i must admit like i, I think... oh it's not bad it's not bad it's just 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 like personal preference i i it, it would be interesting to me to hear it with maybe a, a slightly more organic rawer production but i it, it the production's great production's great yeah production is great um okay any more to say, or should we just kind of score and move on? Man, let's score it. I haven't even got a score, and it's going to be high. But I've got no. I haven't got a score for it. I've got a. I've got a. Uh, a window. You've got a window. I've got a window. So I'm going to let you uh, talk me to where I'm going to be at the top end of that window or the bottom end of that window. All right. Okay. I've just had a score. I've just envisioned a score I'm like an Egyptian god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Into me. And, yes, and, they, and they've knocked off a couple of points. But um, I, I would say 4.7 from me. Okay. So my window was 4.7 to 4.9. Um, I think I am also going to go 4.7 because there was one re thing I realised as I was spending time with it today that a couple of the longer songs, I don't want to say they feel directionless, but like, there's there's a kind of chunk where you kind of zone out a little bit until they bring you back in with uh with like a moment or a riff or like a okay a, yeah, yeah yeah a solo and I just feel that if there was a tiny bit more I think what could have made this a perfect album is if it was just a tiny bit more concise like I'm talking fractional because obviously I'm scoring it very highly um, but I'm just thinking like what I would change to make that the perfect record. What do you, what do you mean? Just maybe. Uh like cut a few but short on a few sections and songs and stuff like exactly yeah exactly yeah. yeah other than that though it's like top tier it's great man so good wow i'm i mean Charged. high scores again in death metal i've just realized mm -hmm. we haven't got bloody classics this week have we no <laughs> and you, is that you just realizing then as well yeah so the one time we bring it in last week oh i know man that's so shit isn't it like we introduce a feature of one week and forget it immediately for the next one i mean can i think of one off the top of my head no don't do that 
I'm not going to do that. <laughs> don't do that. Well, yeah, actually, don't do that. <laughs> Talks, I'm going to do, do, do OPEF, <laughs> Blackwater Park. <laughs> um, I think we'll... we'll and it's we'll got to be 2000s of, as well. It's got to be 2000s, yeah. We'll, we'll, um, we'll think of one and post it on social. Fuck, mm, as if we forgot that. Shit. Who gives a shit? Um, all right, so so carrying on the tradition of the 90s ranking, we have got Power Metal next. Yeah, we've got Power Metal next. Um, we both shuffled. We I, both I was shuffled. thinking, when you Go told on. me this, I was like, how the fuck did this get so high? How's this Power like, Metal. yeah, how's this one at the top? Blind Guardian, I think. Oh, yeah, Blind Guardian. It must have been. Yeah. Um, yeah, it must have been Blind Guardian. Could I, we, yeah. Oh, you yeah, can see everyone was Synergy. Was it? it couldn't have been that. No, but I think we gave Synergy okay scores overall. But I think Blind Guardian definitely pushed it up. Do you want me, uh, yeah. Let me tell you what's coming next. So I'll, I'll just do the next few. After Power, we've got Stoner. Okay. And then Sludge. Industrial, yeah. Groove, then Post. So okay. some good things. Good weeks. Um, stay 2000, tuned, everyone. Yeah, stay tuned. 2000 Groove could be quite gross. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. This, oh, God. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I'm looking down the list. More Fear think, Factory. Yeah, more Fear Factory. You get Digi, Digi Mortal. <laughs> Digi One. The, uh, after post though is metalcore, which could be quite fun, especially two thousands metalcore. Yeah, looking forward to that. But we could also get kind of like a trivium. We could get screwed. Yeah, yeah, trivium. Fucking hell, we could get. I've never actually heard them. Um, I've sort of checked them out back in the day, but it's it's pretty garbage for me. Um, okay, well anyway, power. So yeah, we shuffled off air. To save you guys the uh, the the ag, what what have you got gifted? I've been given uh, a band called Never Heard. I, I, the name rings a bell, but never heard them. A band called Angra. Angra. Better them? Nope. Um, and it's an album called Temple of Shadows. Okay. It's their fifth album. It came out in two thousand four. Okay, so I got a band called uh, the Lord Weird Slough Feg, um, who changed Play their again. name to the Lord Weird Slough Feg. Weird, as in weird, as in you're weird, weird. as in yeah, you're weird. Yeah, um, the Lord Weird Slough, as in you know S L O U G H. The yeah, the the office. Uh, yeah. Feg F E G, the Lord Weird Slough Feg, who actually changed their name to just. Slough Feg at some point in time, but you can search for it. It's weird the they Lord picked weird. Slough Feg instead of the Lord Weird. It's weird that they. I think it's a. I think it was a character from some sort of thing that they, okay. that they carried over. So basically, yeah, I got the album Traveller. I'd heard of this album before. Someone it was recommended to me at one point in time. I never bothered checking it out though. What um, put you off? Was it the name? It was, it was the name in the album. Was, was not, it all I'm, of it? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was, all, it was the whole package. <laughs> but, but after doing a bit of reading on it, it I'm, I'm excited to get into it. One, because of the journey that we've been on with Power Metal. And I'd, I'd, I'd say we're, we're kind of getting into it. You. Not, not <laughs> me. I'm getting into it. <laughs> don't but, don't um, paint me with it. Well, we'll see. We'll see how you get on with it. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, see how I get on. Yeah. Thing. yeah. But I'm, I've I'm never heard then. of this band ever. Yeah, they're a weird one. Apparently, this album "Traveller" is very well received in the power metal community. Okay, well, I'm looking um, forward to that. Sort of. So yeah, weirdly looking forward to that. Um, okay, cool. Um, we'll tune in next week for power metal. Um, thanks for listening, everybody. Any final words, Mike? No, no. Just do um, to, uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, as always. The same uh, on YouTube thing. as on YouTube now as well. We've got to say that. Is that you, you subscribe on YouTube, don't you? You do yeah, the same I mean, thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hit that bell. Hit that notification bell so you know the when bell, new stuff goes The bell, out. that's it. Hit the bell. I mean, it will be a Wednesday. Wednesday is our day. So um, always come back to us on a Wednesday because we're going to have we'll content. On a Wednesday. It'll be there first thing, you? wouldn't it? First thing. 
first thing for us Brits, actually, first thing for Americans too, because we uh, wake up a little bit earlier. But if you are on the eastern side of the world, it might be a Thursday. So. Oh, really? Well, there. I mean, Australia's what, 12 hours ahead? Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Worldwide, Mike, that's what we can do now. Yeah, we've gone worldwide, haven't we, John? We really have. Um, Just the odd okay. person. The, else. <laughs> yeah, one person from Australia. <laughs> yeah. One person from Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> one that's guy in mean. Egypt after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Salah, hopefully. Um, is, okay. twi- twice Mo Salah's been referenced. Name that's, another Egyptian it. football player. Uh, Hassam Ghali. Oh, good for you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we'll leave it on that note. Thanks, everybody, for yeah. listening. And, and, and we'll join you on, We'll join you for power next week. Thanks. Thanks.